Since most people are probably just building my cardipult for fun, I figured I'd show a little quicker way to build it that doesn't quite look as pretty, but it's quick to do and doesn't require as many tools. First you'll need to print out the, the quick pattern from the instructable. This is only half a sheet because I already made the one. Then you just cut out all the parts, cut along the lines. I'm going to cut the camera out for now because this takes a little bit. Okay, cutting out all the parts took maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this one cut. Um, just kind of fold the fold the card over and snip along these lines. And you can just cut it out. It doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, now on to assembly. For this, you just need a stapler. I'm going to start with the, the big L piece, three of them, and the two front faces. You just want to sandwich the three inside pieces between there and do some alignment. You want to be pretty careful with the alignment because it will throw your card off if you're not quite aligned right. Especially this first one takes some working with. Some double sided tape might help here, but since I'm trying to do this with the least amount of tools possible, I'm not going to use it. And just start putting staples in it. You want to be pretty familiar with your stapler so you know where the staples are going to go, because this does require some careful placement. probably come back and put some more staples in it later but that's good enough for now and next we do the long skinny pieces again you want to be careful with the alignment get it as close as you can lined along this bottom edge and in between the, the angle cuts on the side kind of gauge that you got it about the right distance before setting it in too much. Next we do these pieces and the top face. I'm going to set it where it lines up on this corner. that piece together. I'm going to add these little rectangle pieces inside the flaps. You want to be careful to make sure and only staple it to one flap so it can still pull it apart. And for standard staples it, it needs to be at an angle to, to get the staple all the way on that flap. Next, we're using uh, three layers for the arm, unlike the normal version where we only use two. I'm going to slide them in and get the layers lined inside there so they're as far over this way as they can go and up against the top. You also kind of want to make sure they're lined up okay down here. 
Now you want to get a staple as close to that center of the circle as you can. And the other edge, the other end of the staple, needs to be out here off, off, off the arm area, so the arm can still pivot. If you were paying attention to the time, the jump was because my camera ran out of batteries. I think we're right at about 30 minutes. Got that in the center. Now the arm can pivot out without having to glue an axle in there. Uh, one thing I noticed is I forgot to mention how I lined up this big L piece. Um, you want to line up these corners and this edge right here. Okay, now we want to staple this into here. You want to put everything in there and line it up like it should be when it's closed. Of course, this should be all the way down, uh, about flush with there. Um, this arm should be flush against the big L piece. And you want this edge um, to come to the edge of that card. And again, you want to try to put a staple the middle of that hole with the edge over uh, with the, sec the second part of the stable and the stationary part of the card. Be very careful to make sure it's lined up as good as it can be. Now, should be able to pivot like a normal cap card of bolt. You also want to put staple in the legs. So it's centered about vertically and towards this end of the leg. Then you can slide it into the card and make your bends. Do the same with the other leg. And the rubber band. Oh. Sorry, forgot to cut the rubber band notch on the bottom here. Just a little V-notch like we did in the arm. Another rubber band. And it should. We're pretty much like a normal carter bolt, except faster to make. The card itself is probably a little tougher. The glue ones had a tendency to, to break axles pretty easily. These ones not so much, but they are a little more flimsy, so you're still uh, limited to about the same strength rubber band. You can add some more staples in here just to increase the strength a little. That makes it a little more solid. As you can see on my first one, I've added quite a few staples. I even tried to uh, two staples to help increase that axle stability and I've added staples here to bridge the gap and hold, help hold the legs in so they don't pull out. You can also uh, go through with pliers and squish down all the edges of the staples. Uh, that seems to help increase the strength a little and makes it look and feel better. That's about it. As you can see, it took about 40 minutes total to build this. A lot quicker than the full version.